Hello folks, welcome back to the channel. Hanging out on a Tuesday, just for fun. We're going to pick up where we left off on the weekend. I missed Sunday because of Easter and a family visit, so we're going to continue to work on some of the things in West Hill. And one of the things we noticed last time was that I hadn't finished all of the barn details in the wheat farm, so we're going to go do that, I think. And uh, we are here in the basement of the keep with all of our stuff. So I believe this book has the things we want to know. Yeah, second barn interior needs to be done. So we will bring these things. Well, uh, that stuff we can probably leave in there. Bring those two. We are going to need... I don't think we'll need the tables and chairs, but we might as well bring it just in case. Definitely going to need that. We're probably going to need the woods. Bring that as well. <clears throat> what else might we want? Uh, probably the dirt textures. Probably the grasses. Probably some bone meal. I don't think we're going to need bushes. I'll have to come back for them, I guess. And I don't think we need stone either. I'm trying to remember what it's made of. I think it's made of cobblestone. We'll bring those two and see what we need. And I think that's it. I'm probably going to have to come back and get something at some point. That's fine. Uh, how are we doing for food? Good. Flux, hello, welcome back. I see that you've got a nice badge. I'm a gift sub. Have you I think you've connected to the to the Discord? Yes, I think I saw you in there. Hopefully that's the case. Why Jan, good to see you. Elkhorn, of course, the mighty Elkhorn is here and Cosmic Dancer, sweet Sandy. Kicking around in the mod squad. <clears throat> so I think I do like that path there. <clears throat> I'm not sure what else is going to go in this area. I feel like a tree might be good there. But I like the path breaking up the road a bit. And we'll probably treat it the same way we did this one. So I think one of the problems I'm going to run into is that right now the pebble texture in my coarse dirt is not working. Yeah, there's not a lot of texture happening over here. So this is what we did in this barn. And I want to do something similar in this one. We have more structure than I thought. I'm glad that we've got some structure in here. That's good. I might add a couple of cross beams. Just because this is a diagonal build, we couldn't really do that. But in this one, it's diagonal, but it's in chunks. So it's not a full 45. It's like every three blocks, there's a shift. So we could pick a couple of these. Oh, they don't line up. Hmm. That could be a problem. I guess I could put a beam down the middle. Oh no, that won't work. Well, we could angle it. You can see how that might work. I kind of want to break up the space. There's there's more going on in here than I originally thought. Uh, I don't think I brought lanterns though. That's the only issue that I should have considered. Okay, let's set up, I guess out here.
Where is going to be the easiest spot? Probably along here. Delara, hello, hello. Hunter Triple Five, hello, and thanks very much for the sub. 40 months, the big four zero. Thanks ever so much. That's a lot of support. Wow. So here we have like a little horse stable, piles of wood, and some hay. I feel like this one maybe will double down on the amount of wheat and hay that's being stored in here. I think that could be fun. Question is, did I bring enough of that? I brought some. Stripped birch tends to look like hay, as does smooth sandstone. Some of which I've done here, and sand as well. What was the other thing that I didn't bring with me? Lanterns. I don't think we're going to need that many. Large pole in the middle. Yeah, I was thinking about something like that. I think that might be, might be worth it. I don't necessarily want to know if I want to put it right in the middle. Something on one of me, maybe one of those four blocks would be good. We've already textured the roof and I like the way that it looks, so I don't want to mess with it too much. But I really think I want to, first thing I think I want to do is figure out what we absolutely need for lighting and then we can work from there. I have an idea for maybe putting in like a, a pulley system or something. I don't know why simple voice chat keeps on resetting my hotkeys. It's really bugging me. I'm not sure whether it updates automatically or what, but H hide voice chat icons. I have to switch it to I because H is my show lighting situation. So if we have a lantern that's hanging here, does that do the whole place? Almost. So we really only need one, maybe two visually. So we should maybe have one over the door. We can worry about a, a final version of this at some point. We'll just put it in a rough position for now. And then I guess we just have to do one more at the back here. And don't want to raise that up anymore. This is where I might want to hang it from a rafter or something. And that would probably work.
Yeah. Okay. So well, somewhere's around there. We all have to put another lantern. For now, I'll just put it over here so we can see what we're doing. Yeah, it really gets most of it. So it's really more for just being able to see what's going on. Do I want to put... I don't know if I want to put wood up there, if I want to put... Um, hey. Probably would, right? There's something we could do. I could maybe make a little, a little something like that, maybe. Yeah. I don't know which one is going to look better. Right, maybe we have to have that out a little farther. Hmm, do we want to do it that way? If we do that, we'll have to have another one. I'll fix the direction of these later. Yeah, that could work. And then we could have either hay up here. Right? Or we could pile logs up there. I don't want to copy what I did over here. I kind of like the idea of maybe planks? Although those are the same color. What if we did some lighter planks? You're mostly going to see the edge of it anyway. I kind of like that idea, although I don't like that. I think we have to go with oak. Because I do like the shape of the building. <laughs> Lantern only seems like a fire hazard, yeah. There wouldn't... I mean, they, it would be better than a, a lantern than an open flame, right? Maybe we can get away with some spruce. Or... Stripped. I like the stripped better. And I guess we'll probably switch these.
Where is that spider? It's driving me crazy. It's on the roof somewhere? Oh, cave spider. Awesome. Hear you? Where are you? There's the cave. So dark. There you are. Now I can't see. And now there's a zombie that's going to drive me crazy. Awesome. All right. I wanted to see if dark oak would look better. Actually, I kind of like that. I think that it'll stand out better against all the all the hay bales. Sure. Fancy. Let's just leave it like that. Maybe on the back side we can either do stairs or slabs just to kind of make it look like it's attached to the wall. Oh, but that's going to be confused with the planks above. So maybe we'll do that there and just one slab at the back. No, you know what? I think we're fine before. Okay, good enough. And I guess back there, I guess functionally we just want more, more hay around, right? some slabs here too. You know, maybe the slabs don't work that well.
We could put a slab on top of this, maybe. No. I think I want to spice it up a little bit with maybe a little bit of of green. So it looks like fresh, fresh wheat that might be drying out. Wafer Knight, thanks. Yeah, I like the hay bale texture too. I've got a custom wheat texture and I made this to match and then just made it not look like snot. The default Minecraft hay bale texture, I'm so surprised it's never been revisited. I don't know anybody that looks at it and goes, yeah, I like that. It looks good. So I'm going to knock this back. Yeah, I think I want to have a little bit of a color shift here. So what I'm thinking is if we have, I thought I had a little bit of moss, I do. We also have this one. So it's very green, but upstairs we tried this and it sort of worked. The alternative is moss. I think I like the bamboo better. Maybe we can just sneak that back in there. And then I'm going to want some sort of, that seems, oh, that's probably right. I think this is where I want to switch to a little bit more of these more different dirt textures. thinking like there might be planks and some trapdoors and stuff laid down here to make it passable you know to walk in there and not get your feet all muddy mangrove wood should work Yeah, I might even put this here. Switch that back to planks. I feel like I need something either darker or lighter.
feels like a lot of the same. Wonder if the dark oak would look good underneath here. Yeah, that's pretty good. Whoops. I guess before I start texturing back here, I should maybe think about what's going to go underneath there. And this is where I think we can probably put in some actual blocks, uh, like a crate. I guess I have to make another note block. I try to leave at least one in the shulker box so that I can file things easier. 12 should be fine. What do I have the most planks in? Probably this. I might consider putting down a little area that has floor to indicate a uh, dedicated drying area. Stone flooring. No, I'm going to leave it dirt. I'm not overly concerned about it being too realistic. Sometimes I wish I just had a little bit more hanging around in the under chest. I need to do a little bit more organizing for variety. A ladder would be good too. And what else could we put back there? I want to put like bricks or something there. Maybe we could use some of these. Nope. Just a little bit too gray. This is where I wish we had more in-world things like tools or things like that you could put down. Maybe a grindstone?
know if that's overdoing it. Maybe we'll put this over here. I feel like that works. Cosmic Dancer, thanks for being awesome. Blast Jordan, you're absolutely not late. Welcome in. I think it's getting there. I'm, I don't know about the brown concrete powder. I feel like it's a little bit too close to what I'm using texture wise in terms of the pattern for all of the, the hay. So I'm thinking it might be better to use something different there. Yeah. What else could I put back here? I know there's not going to be anything there, so we switch that up. It's a little bit too symmetrical. Where did that go? I guess another trapdoor. Oh, you know what I could be using is stripped spruce. That will give me another texture. The only problem with using slabs like this is that your bot blocks get cut underneath the ground. And that's working a little bit better. Yeah, I guess that'll work. I think the idea I had is that I didn't want to go too high up into the roof because then it's going to blend in together. That's not bad. I 
We're in West Hill. Uh, this is way up near the, the entrance of the valley. This is in the it's a little canal here. And then the West Hill River starts just about here. So the other day we were working on that fishing hole or the fishing pier. It's right there. Yeah, I like I just need a couple more things back there and I think that's good. Like I don't want to go crazy here. I for, I didn't realize I already had the rafters done. We were talking about doing a pole, but I feel like something like this is just going to feel very much in the way. I think I tried running like a diagonal ridge pole and it didn't look very good. So I'll leave that. That's fine. Um, that lantern is actually okay where it is. I mean, it wouldn't be sat on top of hay bales. So maybe I need to change that into something else. I have no signs left. Wow. I feel like that has to be some sort of different color. Oh, barrel would probably work. Yeah, that's better. <laughs> Can anybody think of anything else that would be lying around in here that would make sense? some muddy roots nope worth a shot I like that in here No, it wouldn't be an anvil. Not in the hay barn. Um, this feels a little bit empty. A little bland. Maybe we need a little...
Maybe that's not a hay bale. Maybe we can make that. Uh, a darker. Make it look like a chest. I feel like I've gotten a decent repertoire of little tricks like this, but I, I'm always looking to expand a little bit. Yeah, having a little contrast back there helps. Okay. Maybe I just need to move this. Whoops. Nope. Much better before. Dang it. Anvil giving a sewing machine vibe, I guess. In the right context, that could work. I feel like that's pretty good. I feel like there's I feel like there's hay strewn about on the floor. And it's just, I want to fill in this space, something low. I know I did something upstairs with the bricks and I, I don't want to necessarily copy it, but I feel like it might be the better solution. I want to put a slab down there. Copper doesn't make any sense. Yeah. Oh, mud brick maybe? Do I have any of those? Is it just this? Yeah. I feel like that kind of works. If I have a mud brick mini block, then I'd put it like right there. I think that would probably finish what I wanted. Also, I feel like the back of this has got like no texture whatsoever. Oh, sorry to hear you're sick, Flux. Take care. Illustrated Lefty. Could put a fence post in the top of the bay bale to represent a pitchfork. I don't know how a fence post is going to represent a pit pitchfork, but thanks for coming in. Thanks for saying hi. Uh, two. Is that supposed to go there? Yeah, might as well. So a mini block for there. Maybe a tripwire hook. Do I have those? Yes. 
maybe that's what needs to go back here. That looks like a it's supposed to be a faucet. That's not what I want. That makes sense. Uh, yeah, I just I'm looking around and I'm look feeling like I just didn't do it, any texture work on the back wall here. Oh, it's because the tree's there. That's what it is. Okay. We'll get some andesite and other things going in there. What's the texture? Andesite and cobble. And obviously that's meant to be like a... I think it's a lentil. I think that's the name of it. Insane value, hello. Yeah, mossy cobble. I think I might use some tough back there too. So mossy cobble. We're gonna need some tough, some andesite. and a mini block of mud. I'm not sure if I even have one. Cobblestone is not too loud to go with andesite at all. I've used it everywhere. Works totally fine. Do, 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 do. That should be tough. Andesite. I'll bring that too. Mini blocks. Mm, I don't see any mud here. That doesn't mean I don't have it somewhere. Do have bricks though. So that is one potential solution. Tough andesite. That was it, right? If anybody's wondering why this is so far away, it's because it used to be Megan's build. Since abandoned. Nothing there. More of those. We could combine those. Oh, that's a that's a player head. That should go over in the in the player head box. Ah, we do have those. I wish we had slabs and stairs and dripstone. Dripstone's a really fun texture to play with. Uh, there is some red brick in West Hill. Mostly it's used in chimneys. Um, I've used it a little bit more in the structure of the inn here on the corners. And I want to say... Somewhere is over here. There's some brick in the butcher shop. And that's about it. I don't find it very easy to build with, so I've not used it a lot. Yeah, I trimmed the roof of the butcher shop with jungle wood and bricks. And then I used dripstone back here. That was fun to do. I love flying over this area now. It's so finished looking. Dig it. Let's 
So I could do something like this. Oh, that's not bricks. That's regular mud. Yeah, okay, never mind. This would be the other option. I like that better, I think. Unless we can switch them up and do both. You know, I think both is good. I'll just change the angle on this a bit. You know what? Maybe we just don't need anything there. Maybe we're good. Yeah, I think we're fine. The, um, the trap door at the bottom. Helpful. There's some andesite, but I'd rather have that be tough. I think maybe we can do mossy there try to think about what's happening outside as well We'll see if that makes a difference inside. And I'll go from there. Thank you, Cosmic. I think we'll be able to finish up this wall and even call the project finished. Yeah, all right. Don't like that. So we'll switch that to tough. And I don't like this. And then we'll just go up higher with some of the andesite outside, and that should work. So tough is not something we had access to when I built this. So I don't mind tossing it in here and there. I think that works. Whoops, not that way. Yeah, sure. That's hidden inside, so that's easy. Oh, I knew that was a ladder block. Oh, 
wrong spot. Really can't see much around the tree. That should be good. Yeah, just enough to, to switch it up a bit. Nice. I'm going to call that done. I'm trying really hard not to go back and, and redo things, but that was absolutely left unfinished. This needs to be textured as well. Cool. Well, before I clean all this up, uh, probably best to take that break. So I'll just scoot over to the inn. Give myself a little AFK spot. Uh, if you are new to the channel, I take a break once an hour. It is about that time. Gives me a chance to reheat the old coffee. Gives you a chance to tell a friend about the stream. And I'll be back in about five or six minutes.
All right, so we'll pop back over and make sure that uh, we've got everything there. I think I can do a little bit of texture work around the um, the dirt just outside the barn. Although I don't have any gravel with me, I don't think. No. All right, let's clean up some of this anyway. Still lots of room. All that's on the path. So what I want to do here is just a little bit more of this kind of stuff. So I think we can just use the stuff from this box. Might have to make some more mud. And I don't think there's anything else. Just those four. Yeah, just the gravel. About it. I guess the odd plank wouldn't be a bad idea. Doesn't really work, does it? Weirdly. Thought it would. Rearrange these from Darker to lighter, maybe? Whoops. So that's pretty good. Might be a little bit checkered pattern there. It's better. And I didn't bring any moss carpet. Where is that? In there. I can make just a little bit. Because we're in a plains biome? Forest. I don't know whether moss is going to look good. A little bit weird. I think I remember doing running into this before. It sort of works and sort of doesn't. But see, that's sunflower plains. And then forest. The grass color changes. Right. I'm having some deja vu.
because normally what I'd like to do is use moss to like give the give an edge to the to the path, but I don't think it necessarily works in that situation. I guess that works. Nope, not there. Just enough to vary it up a little bit, make it look like it's not all one texture. I always get a little bit spooked doing stuff around the wheat because I don't want to. I don't want to break the wheat. I have to start it all over again. Yeah, that's not bad for a quick, quick fix. Maybe we can weasel in some planks in here. That's the case, maybe this would end up being stripped spruce. Oh, can't do it there. Crap. Really wish we had different slab textures sometimes. What if I made one of those a stair? These are the kind of things where, I, while I'm not planning on revisiting everything, I do find that sometimes uh, some of the things that I've picked up over the last few years different techniques and stuff tend to be things that are nice to revisit sometimes. Yeah, I think that works. Uh, method behind the placement of the rooted dirt. Um, I it's tend to be pretty light, so I tend to try to put it on the corners near the grass if I can. 
that or I think about the lighter blocks being in places that would be traveled a lot. So trying to think about where the player would tread the most. Sort of like if you look at asphalt on a road where the tires hit it is worn down more, you know? Yeah, the mud the mud sounds are all pretty squishy. Also, hi Ranger. And sometimes you just don't have enough room. Yeah, just enough, just enough to tweak it a little bit. I want to put some wood in through here, but I'm not sure where. Maybe we can replace this. Yeah, that works. The other thing I try to do when I'm placing blocks is I try not to line them up. So like you see that none of these um, brown concrete powder blocks are all are lined up with one another. I try to space them out that way. So here we might be able to get away with some of this muddy mangrove stuff. Just because it's under a tree. Oh, maybe not on both. Nope, you know what? Maybe we just can't. We are definitely missing some grass though. And for that, I need to switch. I think we're good for texture. I just need some grass. Much better. Where we don't have the um, the moss working for us color wise, we can at least use grass, although I don't like that one. You can use grass to kind of help give a bit of an edge. 
Nice. And now that we've moved that stuff, maybe we can even slip in a fern. Cool. Anything else along here? No, I think we're good. Could maybe throw in a little of the lighter conc lighter blocks. Nope, wrong box. This one. I find that this looks really good next to like cobblestone. It almost looks like it almost looks like cobblestone covered in dust, which is cool. See, that I don't want to do. I don't want to line that up. So, we'll just skip that one. Weirdly, it's just a little thing that sticks out in my brain. Excellent. Well, that's done. That was easy. Take one last look before we move on. Should probably leave that open actually, so it's a nice view for players. I like this. I think that really helps. The green really helps offset because we've got the dark brown back there. We've got a different color up here. Still sort of works very well. There's a lot of yellow in the top of the bamboo, actually, so that works really well there. Yes, another job ticked off the list. You're right, Cosmic. Where is the book? Second barn interior. Done. Keep... Crossroads. I guess I could spend a little bit of time going over some of the um, tables and chairs. Now that we've got those fixed, we'll see what I can do. So these seem to be fixed, no problem. I've not done anything in the kitchen in here because I was waiting for the data pack to update. There is somebody new looking after the tables and chairs data pack and they've said that they're planning on making it work with 1.20.5 and 1.21 as a result. All right, let's just clear some of this away. Put back the stuff we can put back. I'll leave those two in my inventory. And all the stone can go back.
coarse dirt. So the main hall and the main mezzanine and then the base, the basement is what I'm going to do last. That's this. This is going to just get turned into a distillery, I think, but this is kind of like my base of operations right now. So we'll see. Uh, I do have to put this stuff all back. That's where those go. Oh, I don't have any room in here for that. So I'll put that in here. Oh, it's a player head. Crap. That'll stay there. Having these labels certainly helps sometimes. Just wish we could do more with the uh, blocks. I mean, it's possible. It just doesn't look very good. All right. So we could make some more tables and chairs to kick things off. So we need probably a little bit more of each would be my guess. Put this down. Thankfully, this is a pretty simple process. Uh, let's go four tables, two more chairs, and I don't care about anything else for now. It's mostly these very simple designs. Go six chairs, two tables, three chairs, and three tables for dark oak. Don't know that we're going to need a lot of birch chairs but boy do i have a lot of birch wood so i might as well four and three i wish this gave you your blocks back after you left the interface it's a little tedious that it doesn't no you can't clutch with a chair it's not a bucket of water, it's a re-skinned and remodeled trapdoor, from what I can remember. I don't remember these. It's a bench. I wonder if that's... Do we know if that's connected? Let's find out. Because that could be cool in the modern city. These are new with this version. I don't have enough, I guess. Oh, they're not connected. Oh, wait a minute. That's a trapdoor. If that's a trapdoor, I can probably hit it with a hammer. You see it kind of flash into existence as a trapdoor very briefly. Right? Oh, interesting.
So there you go. You could have like a two-sided bench. Or you could have it go around corners. It's a little too fancy model-wise for me. Doesn't look very vanilla, but that is really cool. You can still see the seams though, which is weird. Could be just the lighting in here, but like, why does it change textures? <laughs> this is what I mean when, when you've got these data packs, they do all this cool stuff, but then like, why does it change? Why does it change textures? It's all birch. It's all the same type of wood. Why is this middle one light colored? Doesn't make any sense. So, and this is why you don't end up using a lot of the features in data packs, is because they're just not thought through. No, the torch, not the lighting. Or is the lighting? That's that's dumb. Why would it light up one and not the other? I mean, it doesn't matter if it is the lighting. Well, then it's just going to be the same in your world, so it's still going to look like two different colors. Do I have a tiny biome there? I don't think so. Nope, sunflower planes all around. I don't really have any plans for those around here anyway. Uh, this one's, I think this one looked a little bit too plastic. Yeah, very modern city. We could use that in the modern city, no problem. I don't remember the other materials we can use. I feel like it's blackstone and that kind of stuff. Do I have any blackstone? Nope. Is it bricks, maybe? I don't remember all the different materials. Oh, yeah. That doesn't look very good. What if we did like a polished this kind? The brick pattern on a chair just doesn't make any sense to me. Carved blackstone chair. That doesn't even have, that has no legs. Weird. I mean, it's kind of noisy, just like Blackstone. That's bizarre. And that's what I mean. Like, I, I don't know who's asking for these. Like, it's just such a strange... The problem with being an artist when, you know, you're looking at these kind of things is that sometimes you're just like, why? It's such a strange... It doesn't go with Minecraft at all, you know? So that's at least restocked. And I don't think there's anything in the immediate vicinity that needs fixing. The kitchen all look good. I don't have a table and chair yet in here. I don't think I had chairs in here. It was never meant to have chairs. I think there's one place out front that I need to visit. Yeah, Northgate Tower. Table and a candle. I need a flint and steel.
so in the north tower up here, there was supposed to be a table and a candle. But I also know that just inside here, there's, yeah, some broken tables and chairs that are not working. Now, hopefully, I can actually pick this up. Nope. So it's like a ghost entity that I just can't, just can't get. That's annoying. Maybe I can get it now? Nope. And this is why I'm hesitant to even be going around and fixing this, because of course now, I can't do anything here because I can't place it, right? Because it thinks that there's an armor stand here, but there isn't. You can see the armor stand. That's the chair. No, actually, lie. That's the that's the piece of paper. So it's not even showing me this, right? Really, 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 really silly. Not a fan. It means I can't fix stuff. Yeah, I figured that's what I thought, Cosmic. That's what I thought. There's a command you're supposed to be able to run, but it doesn't. It doesn't work. So it's going to be the same problem here. See. I hit it twice and then it just stops having a hitbox. Such a pain. This should be easy. Well, except for I broke that. That was a simple fix. These should be easy. Unfortunately, it doesn't give, oh, it does give me the tables. gonna have a carpet on it. Am I gonna get that back? Yes. Why? I've got a funny feeling that was supposed to be, even though the candles are there, I feel like that's supposed to be in the corner here. And then unfortunately there's chairs. See, like it just, I get two hits and then it disappears and I can't touch it anymore. It's so annoying. <sighs> hmm. I don't know how to fix this. Can I still... Can't push it. Nope. Yeah, the 3D chisel bookshelves are really cool. It's a nice texture. Now there was one more up top, I think, unless it was those ones that I had to do. Oh no, more problems here. This might actually be okay. That's actually facing the right direction. So 
So same thing, same problem. But yeah, the 3D bookshelves are great. I, I quite like them. Some of these interiors feel a little on the amateur side, but uh, I am going to be able to put, put that there. Just not here. That is so frustrating. Although that could be my own armor stand. That might not be the, the chair. Yeah. Really don't know what to do about this. I'll have to talk to some people and see. I think there was one more. I think I had to get a candle in the top tower. I mean, I can't check off anything anyway. Yeah, I think I want to. Yeah, I think I'm supposed to put a table there. That strikes me as a temporary solution. So we'll do this. I guess we have to move that over. There we go. Well, the top tower is done. But the tables and chairs check is not. Yeah, so we still have more more to do because unfortunately, I mean, I've got to walk around and try to fix all the tables and chairs, but if I'm going to be leaving these silly ghost items that I can't get rid of, I've not even been able to do it because I'm I'm admin on the server and I've just not been able to to figure out how to get rid of those chairs. Apparently there's a command that mini packs gave me that I can run, but it's gonna delete everything within render distance. That's old. And I don't necessarily want that to happen because I don't remember where things are. I don't know whether it's a render distance thing or whether it's um, like it just it's it's in a set radius by the command. So I have to talk to mini packs about it. All right. Well, I don't think I'm going to get much done with tables and chairs, given that we now know that even with the new five point whatever version, we still have these ghost entities from the older versions. I don't th I don't think I'm still running the old version on the server. That's the other thing I should check just to make sure that that's completely moved. Signs, wagons, road textures. I don't have enough time to start anything new. But we're getting really close. The biggest things left to do are honestly uh, inside the keep. So now that new tables and chairs, uh, I, I have no trouble it seems putting down the new tables and chairs. So now that that's a possible thing we can take care of, um, we can do things like decorate this main hall. 
I wouldn't mind putting some sort of throne or something in here. We've also got... Where's the staircase? We've got... This needs to be turned into like beds and tables and stuff like that. That's supposed to be like kitchen staff. Leave that open. And then we've got... How do I keep on going up? This way. There's this space. Could use some stuff. Very, very empty. And then... That's just the mezzanine. But then as we go up here, we've got this area that needs decorating. There is a... That's just a tower, but there's another bedroom up top here. So the master kind of bedroom for the area is is this, I think. And then we've also got... This is done. The top part is done. But, well... Not really decorated, but it's done. Um, this this I'd like to to finish up too. So we can actually... Um, come up here now you can see that I've got different ideas uh, the floor is thick so like it doesn't affect this space so we can do whatever we want so that'll be fun to kind of decorate this in a nice way I don't think I'm going to change the outside I think this is probably going to stay stay stone I don't see why I would change that so we'll see what we can come up with and then, of course, the big one is the basement. Well, the kitchen needs to be done, and then the basement down here. So the basement down here, it's decorated in the stairwell, but then once you get down to the bottom, I'm going to... I think I need to actually tear this out because this is just functional bulk storage for the, for the area. And I can move that over to the storage underneath the crypt. So we can turn this into a big distillery. There's small outlines back here for... A small dungeon there's also this area too which is kind of like you know garbage or sewer or whatever so i'm not sure what we could do down here this might end up being just part of it because there'd be a lot of water being used in say a distillery so it would be kind of neat if we could have something here that looks like it might be pulling buckets of water up from the river and then using that into like distillery situations so we'll see i'll have to look up some reference and stuff like that but uh, unfortunately, I was not able to do as much on the tables and chairs as I thought I was going to. Put some stuff away. I don't know why I have more than one of these in here. It's not something I want. That's better. Okay, cool. Well, folks, that is where I'm going to wrap up today's stream. We'll pass you on to somebody else playing Minecraft. Let's see who else is live. Looks like Exumavoid just kicked off the stream. So we'll send you all over to X. I think you'll have a good time there. If you want to leave a follow here on Twitch, you can follow the next time I go live. Next scheduled stream is for Thursday. I will very likely not be streaming tomorrow because I will be podcasting tomorrow. So if you're part of my Discord, there'll be a live podcast tomorrow with myself and Stephen ESC. You can check out things like Joel Duggan on social media and of course uh, here on Twitch and Patreon. If you'd like to support the stream, check out Joel Duggan on Patreon and uh, maybe join the Discord. It's only two bucks a month. It keeps me streaming. It's a great way to support your favorite creators. And uh, thanks for, so much for hanging out. Thanks for the subs today. Cosmic, thank you for the moderation. Um, there's been a couple people in the chat uh, that I know of that are under the weather. So if you're if you're under the weather, then I hope you're feeling better. Springtime is not a good time to be sick. It's a good time to get outside when you can, which is what I'm going to do right now. So enjoy the rest of your afternoon with X. I will see you all Thursday. Bye for now.